quickly now go straight to football where it is seriously looking so good for the Nigeria Premier Football League as it is right now. It's really been an impressive one. And organizers of the Nigeria Premier Football League, the Interim Management Committee, in conjunction with GTA and, and then Propel Sports Africa, have, have secured a $5 million deal to stream the league matches on digital platforms from 2023-24 stroke 24 season. The Nigeria Professional Premier Football League announced that the innovation had been enabled by world's most advanced artificial intelligence, making the league the first in Africa to deploy the technology. The point of the innovation is MPFL Live, a dedicated streaming app that will allow fans to enjoy live matches and exclusive content with seamless user experience for the football enthusiasts in Nigeria and throughout the world. Let's take you straight to what we brought back from this massive one because it's really been an interesting and very very encouraging um, league so far this season. This is an opportunity and it's the first in the world, it's not only the first in Africa but it's the first in the world, time in the world, that the a soccer league, the Premier League of Football, will have live streaming using the latest AI technology. Without TV, sports is just an activity. Television brings 90 to 95 percent of value to any sports property. And once you don't have TV, you don't have value. What you only have is just sports activity, people just running all over the place without value. But the moment you put television behind sports property, the value begins to appreciate significantly. What we want is for our matches to be uh, televised live, to be streamed live, and uh, in about 100 countries in the world. So we have Nigerians in diaspora, and we have others who are interested in football outside Nigeria, we are not Nigerians. Whatever we are doing, they will be seeing it. So the target is for the entire world to see what is happening in Nigerian football. Because at the moment, you are uh, uh, not where you should be in, in regards uh, uh, on and the positions, but there's no reason why in a few years' time, uh, with the exposure and your coverage, that uh, Africa, uh, you're number one in Africa. That's the plan. You'll have better players, uh, better coverage, better youth, better academies, uh, better women. Uh, everything will be affected because it's going to trickle all the way down. But that's going to take time. In that they are planning for a huge amount of money to be a maximum a player to earn like almost a one million naira um, uh, for their salary, which of course it can be able to extend other players from other countries to come and play in Nigeria. If you see now with the way the salaries have been paid now to players, you don't have players even from Benin Republic here cannot come to Nigeria. But with this system they're doing, you can see how the league the league just finished now, you see how the league was, and uh, this new development, I think it will bring a lot of things back to Nigerian football again. You are going to have employment opportunities, you are going to have liquidity coming into the system. It's a total economy that is being built on the back of technology and the football, footballing activity that is that's inherent in, the, in Nigeria. This is what we're actually talking about. Definitely we'll be enjoying some good action when you talk about um, the Super 6 that will be holding here in Lagos to the specific Adimobolaji Johnson Stadium here at Onikon. We can't wait to see what will happen next month when we'll see the best of six come to the party. And